How does the change in Mistress Hugh affect Frederick Douglass? In this lesson, you will learn to recognize how events impact characters by analyzing the effects of a situation on a character. Let's review. Our text is a non-fiction narrative. It's also considered informative because it's based on the true life story of the author Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass was born into slavery in the 1800s. Our character, one of our characters, Mistress Hugh, has begun to teach Frederick to read. And she has just recently undergone a drastic change. We're told that her tender heart has turned to stone and her lamb-like disposition has changed to tiger-like fierceness. In this lesson, we will be exploring how the change in Mistress Hugh affected Frederick. We'll use three steps in our lesson today. Number one, we will reread the text paying close attention to the interaction between characters. In step two, we will create a cause-effect organizer. We will record evidence to prove the effects one character has upon another character. And finally, in step three, you'll want to ask yourself, what do these effects tell me, the reader, about changes in the character's relationship? You'll also want to jot down your conclusions. Let's begin with step one. We're going to reread the text, paying close attention to the interaction between characters. Mistress Hugh has changed this part at the very beginning. The first step in her downward course is a reference to that change. We find that it says that her first step was ceasing to instruct me. Me is Frederick. She had been Frederick's teacher, but now she has stopped. As we look further reading in the text, here's another example of how Mistress Hugh interacted with Frederick. She got upset when she saw him with a newspaper. Her face would look really angry. She would rush to grab the newspaper away from him. At this point, I'm thinking that when she saw Frederick with a newspaper, she would get instantly angry and snatch it away from him. For some reason, she seemed to think it was dangerous for him to read the paper. In this portion here, there are more examples of how Mistress Hugh treated Frederick. It says that she most narrowly watched him. If he was in a room by himself, she suspected him of having a book. If she lost track of him for any part of time, she wondered where he had been and asked him to give an account of what he had been doing. So when I read this part, I'm thinking she's constantly watching and she's suspicious and always wanting to know, what have you been doing? Now that we've found all of these pieces of evidence about what happened as a result of Mistress Hugh's change of character, we're ready to move to step two, where we're going to create a cause-effect organizer. We're going to look for and record evidence to prove the effects one character has upon another character. It's important to remember when we do this that an answer without text evidence is like a stool with broken legs. It's not really very good. Whereas an answer with text evidence is really good. It's reliable and we could, we could actually sit down on a stool like that and feel confident. So we want our answer to have text evidence. Remember, we're looking for evidence to prove one character affects another. The change that has taken place in Mistress Hugh was described as her lamb-like disposition became tiger-like fierceness. So we need to think about what we found and what things did we find that show how that impacted Frederick. Remember that it said that she had stopped being his teacher. Remember it said that she didn't like him having a newspaper. Remember that she watched him and was always suspicious that he would have a book if he was out of sight. She was always asking, what have you been doing? Rereading a text and searching for the ways the text is organized helps us make sense of it. We can actually now construct a cause-effect organizer. First, we show the cause. Mistress Shu became a woman with tiger-like fierceness. Then we show all the things that happened to Frederick as a result of that. First, she, taught, she stopped teaching Frederick. 
She also got angry if she saw Frederick with a newspaper. She watched Frederick closely all the time. She suspected Frederick of reading. And she always wanted to know where Frederick was and what he was doing. So now we need to ask ourselves, what did these effects tell me about changes in the character's relationship? We're going to jot down our conclusions. Based on the evidence found in the text, I feel confident about the following conclusions. First, the warm, trusting relationship that had existed between Mistress Hugh and Frederick was destroyed. She became suspicious of Frederick's daily activities and monitored his whereabouts very closely. And I can conclude, based on the evidence, that Mistress Hugh did not want Frederick to have access to anything he might read. Let's review the steps. We reread the text paying close attention to the interaction between characters. Step two, we created a cause effect organizer, record evidence to prove the effects one character has upon another. And step three, ask yourself, what do these effects tell me, the reader, about changes in the character's relationship? Jot down your conclusions. In this lesson, you have learned to recognize how events impact characters by analyzing the effects of a situation on a character.